Hey, this is Gary Baird with SellerEssentials.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about the tool called OA X-Ray and how we use it to uh, speed up our online sourcing and make it much more efficient. Uh, spend a lot less time sourcing and find a whole lot more products than we used to in the same amount of time. So in this video, we just want to go through the basics of one method of using it, probably the most common way of using it, and we'll have a series of five total videos, uh, at least five videos, where we go through different ways that, that we use this tool. But for our purposes today, let's just jump right in and show you what it looks like. So uh, normally, if I was going to shop at Kohl's, Kohl's has a three-day doorbuster deal going on right now. You could also go through and just pick a category or you know go to the clearance section go to the toys, whatever whatever it is you're searching for. But for our demonstration today, we'll just go to the three-day sale. And I'm not even gonna sort by, by type of product. I usually would go in and sort, pick a department and, and do that. But this gives us a nice variety of everything from home, home appliances, some sheet sets, um, blankets, a waffle maker, a um, wide variety of stuff. So what we're going to do, instead of going through the sheet one product at a time, um, going through it and looking, copying and pasting and looking up the uh, product on Amazon, what we're going to do is we're going to simply run the, the OA X-Ray tool and it's going to take the whole sheet and run it for us. So what we want to do first is uh, show as many items as possible on each page. So we're going to pick 120 items. So each tab that we open with OA X-Ray shows as many possible products as possible. So what we're going to do is this little blue icon up here, it's a little barcode it looks like with a magnifying glass over it. We're just going to click that. Once we're on a page with products pulled up like this, where we see prices and everything, we can click that. You can see it opens up this tab. And what it's going to do is it's going to extrapolate all that information and compare it to Amazon and try to find us some deals. And we're going to go, while that's working, I'm going to go to the second page and do the same thing. It's going to open up a second tab. And I'm going to go to the third page and do the same thing. And it's going to open up a third tab. Normally, we do about five at a time. It gives the, the first tabs a chance to work and go through all the, all the products. Now, if you didn't notice, there was a 15% uh, off additional uh, if you use a Kohl's charge. So I'm actually going to input the 15% up here. And it's going to, you can see it made some things green that were, that were not green, and green is good. So we're looking at positive ROI items. In this video, we're going to just use the positive ROI tab. In other videos, we're going to talk about why that's not always the best way, or the, it's certainly not the only way to find good products to resell. So in this case, we're looking for products that have a good ROI, and, and you can see the ROI column right here and also have a good sales rank. And you can see the Kohl's prices are listed here, and if you hover over the Kohl's price, it'll actually show you comparison photos so you can tell if it's a match or not. If it's not a match, there is a little box here you can actually type in or actually check it as a mismatch, and it'll make their system a little bit uh, more informed. So you can go through here, and you can see this one's 52% feedback, or sorry, ROI, but it's zero rank, so probably not something that most of us are going to jump all over. This one's got a great ROI, but 995,000 uh, rank, and it's a mattress pad, so it's going to be ridiculously heavy, probably uh, bulky, and uh, it's just not something, well, this one actually doesn't look too bad, so it's it might be something that some, somebody might mess with. Um, let's take a look at it. We're getting an extra 15% off. And this is the other thing. They pick, when, when OA X-Ray works, it picks one price. So if an item is a variant, it's going to pick one price. Sometimes it's the lowest, sometimes it's not. It's, it's just strange how that happens. So this one is for the twin. You can see when I hover over here, it says micro, microfiber mattress pad twin, the big one. And you can see uh, it actually pulls twin in the title right here. So we're actually going to select twin. And it, ex is, it is $8.99, so with an extra 15% off, we're looking at uh, about another $1.35 off of that. So, you know, we're, we're, our cost is down below um, $7 or $7.99, so we're in, the, we're in the $7.70 range, $7.60 range, something like that. Um, so we're, we're looking at a better um, 
ROI. Well, that's I'm sorry, that's taking this into consideration. That 15% has already been deducted, so that's nice. It already calculates it for you. Uh, if I took the zero out or took the 15% out, you can see it will reduce it down to 99%. So adding that extra 15% discount in actually increases our ROI. I'm not sure why. Okay, there we go, 114%. So this is something that if it meets your criteria, um, we're going to click on the one, the link to Amazon, and we're actually going to go here and make sure that it in fact is selling for $28.99. In this case, there's only three other sellers. So this rank is not phenomenal by any means, but we certainly sell products in the 1 million rank. Um, you can see it's been around for 715 days. It hasn't really sold that much. So if you look at the Keepa chart, this doesn't excite me that much. Um, it looks like millions kind of its low end and it jumps up to the two, three, four million range at times. So that's not a product that we're going to get too excited about. But if we go through here, we can see this one's 46% with a 23,000 sales rank. So that's a solid sales rank. Um, $80 product uh, with a 15% off will be another $12 off of that to bring it down to $68 selling for $123. So you want to look at it. This is the mini, uh, this is the yellow one, the banana yellow. So we want to make sure that Kohl's has the, the banana yellow available and it doesn't look like they do. So you do, this is not a perfect system. It does speed things up, but it's not human. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't catch everything all the time. Then we've got a 44%, 17,000 rank, 19.99 to 32. Uh, so we're really paying about 17 bucks for this and uh, getting it for 32. Our net profit, this is an NP, is the net profit column. And it's, so your net profit's gonna be 7.53. So that's kind of a marginal product as well. Um, you can see the ROI just keeps going down. So this stuff isn't stuff we're interested in too much because as the rank gets better down here, the ROI becomes negligible. And once we get shipping involved in there, it's going to be uh, maybe even a loss. So that's, that sheet is done. So let's check the next sheet. We're going to put our discount in again. See what happens. I didn't plan this ahead of time. So in these three sheets, we might not find anything. We might find some, some great nugget. I'm not sure. So in this case, we've got... The best ROI is going to be for a zero ranked product and it's not even close. Oh no, no. there we go. It's, it is a match. So whatever, whoever listed it, it hasn't sold yet. Um, so it's a zero rank right now. And uh, the next product has a 29% with a 123,000 rank. Now this one's not terrible. We've got $20 profit. We've got 29% ROI and it's a 5,700 rank, but it is a shoe. It's a boot. And uh, with shoes, with the high return rate on shoes, I tend to like higher ROIs on those. So that's not as interesting as it would be if it was a small, light, easy to ship type product that wasn't likely to get returned. So in this one, we've got, we've got some stuff with really good ranks but the ROIs are becoming lower and lower, so not a, not necessarily interested. Um, and this last one, let's see, we put the 15% discount, so it's our third sheet of the two. So we've gone through 240 products already in the short period of time that we've been doing this video. Um, this is 360 on this sheet total, and imagine how long that's going to take you to do if you did that manually. So that's the beauty of this tool. So in this case, I'm going to sort by ROI again. We've got another one where we've got great ROI, but no rank. And then we've got this one here. We've got a 56% ROI, $39 profit, almost 40 and a solid rank. It's nothing. It tells you the category here. This is not nothing that's going to, you know, make people go jump up and down or buy a pallet full, but it's, it's not a bad rank in kitchen. And we'll check a look at Keepa and see if it's on its way up or down at that rank. You can see it's 129.99 at, at Amazon. And this is one of the nice things um, about this tool is it doesn't just search the site that you're on. Now you can just click this box right here where it says compare current store and it will only check the current store that you're on. But I like to leave that off because it searches all these other stores. So it not only searched Kohl's and found it for 
$139. It searched eBay and found it for $69.97. Um, it may or may not be new on eBay, but if it is and you can get it for $69.97, obviously you're going to want to deduct this 15% because it's taking this 15% off of everybody's prices. Um, so it kind of makes this look a little bit better, this profit look a little bit higher than it really will be unless you have a way of getting 15% off of eBay. And then we get down here, we have some products that are uh, better ranks, but the ROI is just not there. So in this case, we didn't really find much, but we saved a ton of time. Um, we found some stuff that we might want to track. We've talked about tracking with the tool called TrackIf. It's actually changed name called My Alerts now. Um, we'll make a separate video about that to talk about that. But um, so while we didn't find anything positive uh, to, to buy in this little trip, uh, hopefully you see the power of a tool like this to really expedite the process and make your sourcing a whole lot uh, more time efficient and allow you or your VAs, whoever's using the tool, to go to find way more products than you ever could have the old traditional method. So if you're interested in checking it out, signing up, um, we have a, a special for sellers, Seller Essentials, um, a six-day, it's normally a three-day uh, trial. We have a six-day trial. Um, the beginning of the sixth day, they'll, they'll bill you. So if you don't want it, you need to cancel. Simply cancel your subscription through PayPal within six days to prevent being charged. Um, and then once you've signed up, it's 99 bucks a month. Uh, they're constantly adding to it. Um, they have uh, close to 25 sites now that, that are working with uh, the tool and they're just adding more and more every month. So it's a tool that's only going to get more and more valuable as the time goes by. So if you're interested, check it out. Can't hurt to try it out for five days. If you don't like it, if you don't think it's worthwhile, you can certainly cancel it. Um, make sure if you like this video and you want to hear more, um, sign up in the bottom right hand corner. You'll see the little Seller Essentials logo. Just hover over that and you'll be able to subscribe to the video. Uh, for more great resources, tools, and tips, be sure to check out SellerEssentials.com. Have a good one.